Hello, it's been some time since I last uh, posted a video on my YouTube channel. Uh, I've been working on my RC cars and restoring some old cars, especially old Nitro Kyosho cars. Uh, today I want to show and talk to you about this Kyosho Stinger. This is a Kyosho Stinger from year 1987. It's a Circuit 1000 series and it is a 110 scale uh, four wheel drive buggy. Stinger came in two generations. There was a Mark 1 in 1987 and Mark 2 in 1988. As you can see, this manual it's for the Mark 1. The same body as you see here. But my model is Mark 2. When I bought it, I got it uh, from Germany as a Mark 2 chassis. But the body is Mark 1. Mark 2 body is uh, more modern looking with a wing and it's very Optima mid uh, style uh, looking. This, however, Stinger uh, Mark 1 is very different, very unique looking uh, uh, and conventional. It doesn't have the wing. The body is very interesting. As you can see, this cab is offset to the side. Here's the engine. The engine uh, location on the body is cut out. Uh, the difference between Mark 1 and Mark 2 is first of all the body and second it has a different transmission. So you can see here Mark 1 has a chain drive, Mark 2 has a belt drive. Also Mark 1 has a different location of a fuel tank. The fuel tank is located here near the spur gear and also there is a difference in the top plate for the receiver and servo placement. Also this Mark 1 does not have any brakes. So these are the main differences but this manual still can be used for Mark II. Uh, oh, also the shocks are different between Mark I and Mark II. You can see in Mark I uh, you, you need to use this zip starter where you pull it, uh, the flywheel, and there is a small ratchet gear on the flywheel. As you can see this Mark 1 also had this uh, disc which is used to start the engine uh, with a airplane propeller start. In my case this Mark 2 model with a Mark 1 body which I'm going to take it off uh, does not have any starter. It must be started by using the bump starter the starter box on the flywheel. I will put a short uh, video where I start the engine. This model has OS Max 0.12 engine with a typical Kyosho muffler. As you can see, the top plate is different. The location for the fuel tank is here, while on the Mark 1 should be here. And the servo placement is different on Mark 1 and Mark 2 also. 
you can see inside there is a belt instead of chain I think chains are very cool but belts are more efficient it has this full independent suspension both gear differentials this is the spore gear and the fuel tank is old type with this bottle cap and also this metal pipe inside it's an airplane type of fuel tank where you have to drill a hole and uh, bend this small tube inside uh, and uh, make sure it picks up the fuel from the bottom uh, uh, this uh, muffler you see here it has this hole drilled to make a pressure line as you can see there is a carburetor it's a high-speed needle adjustment and this is a very unique uh, and very rare OS uh, air filter it has these uh, filter lugs and what they do is they put some glue on top which makes a film uh, and it seals the air filter but this uh, glue film was ripped so I put on some uh, tape and a small sticker from Tamiya so yeah this model is quite simple but I think it is very effective it has this uh, bell crank steering which also has the servo saver built in in order to minimize flex of the aluminium chassis it has this top plate and also this uh, huge uh, turnbuckle to to tighten up uh, the chassis flex uh, this uh, spot is also different on mark 1 uh, as you can see uh, rear shocks are inverted because uh, they were leaking so I inverted so they don't leak uh, it's not very original but it's a, a simple fix uh, the o-rings cannot be replaced because the shock internals are pressed down and you have to break them apart in order to take out the o-rings front shocks are very uh, laid down yes as for this body when I bought the model it came with the Mark II body but was trashed and I got this body from the same seller uh, which he got from Canada from Team Blue Groove TBG bodies this body was clear so I painted it in a box style but since I didn't have the original decals I made a small improvisation with a few stickers here and there uh, I left this whole part uncut because originally you have to cut this place in order to put the fuel tank so all in all the mark II chassis is much more effective uh, but the mark one body is more unique looking uh, I really like this uh, unconventional bodies which look very different